AI is now being used to talk with the dead. A countless number of people are using AI tools to recreate and clone their lost loved ones. Now, do you want to find out what AI tools are being used to do this and how it's being used in the real world? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all of that and more. Plus, you'll find out what large companies have filed patents on this technology. AI girlfriends have been all the rage lately. Why deal with your cranky and unappreciative real life girlfriend or boyfriend when you can just have an AI one instead? And I'd be more than happy to learn more about you and please you in any way I can. One that will never fight with you. One that tells you you're hot every time they see you. I gotta say, Pookie looks absolutely fire tonight. Sounds good, right? No wonder why these AI significant others are trending lately. And right when you thought AI girlfriends were strange, well, get ready because there's something even creepier. Something that uses the same AI technology as AI girlfriends, but in a completely different way. That is using AI to talk with the dead. These talk to the dead chatbots are called Thanabots and are trained on data from a person that has passed away. The word Thanabot is derived from the term Thanatology, which is the scientific study of death. Thanabots work just like ChatGPT. Instead of asking ChatGPT a general question like, how many people live on Earth? You'd chat with a Thanabot in a more conversational tone, like you would with a human being in a text message. Except in this case, you'd be talking to the clone of someone who has died. Say your grandma passed away and you want to continue talking with her via AI even after she's died. You'd simply gather as much information about her as possible and upload that to the AI model to have it train on. You could upload media like home videos of granny, granny's emails, and even your text mess history with her. The AI model will then learn your grandma's personality inside and out and all of her quirks all the things that made grandma grandma to you it would then create a grandma chatbot one that you talk to directly it would feel very much like talking to your living grandma live and in person she would know everything about you and she would know that recipe to her famous apple pie off the top of her head. Now think about it for a second. Because of AI, we can now let our loved one's spirit live on forever. That's something hard to wrap your head around. There's so many implications to this. Even therapist Elizabeth Schandelmeyer is taken aback by this technology. In a recent Decrypt.com interview, she said, Using AI to create an avatar for personal or commercial use should be considered carefully, given the potential impact on a person who is grieving that loss. She goes on to say this, meaning talking to the AI dead, could also inhibit a person's ability to adapt to their current life and lead to the resistance to the very real and practical changes that accompany a death. She's saying that everyone needs to go through the grieving process. It's a fundamental human emotion that all humans must deal with head on. And by going through this process, it makes us mentally stronger as human beings. If we push this grief to the side by talking to a resurrected from the dead loved one, we're essentially sidestepping grief and delaying it. This isn't good for our mental health. There are many more therapists out there like Elizabeth that agree that these talk to the dead chatbots are just unhealthy coping mechanisms. But a lot of people who have actually used these Thanabots to cope with loss and grief disagree. Joshua, a freelance writer from Canada, lost his girlfriend and the love of his life, Jessica, to a rare liver disease over eight years ago. He was by her side holding her hand as she passed away. The inevitable decision had to be made to turn off her life support. And over the next eight years, no matter what he did, he couldn't get over her tragic death. He was depressed, anxious, and couldn't sleep at night. He was looking for anything to ease his emotional pain and grief. Then one day he came across an AI tool called Project December. It promised to recreate lost loved ones virtually. At first he was skeptical, but Joshua had nothing to lose at this point. The tool was only $5 and he was desperate for some mental relief. He gave it a try. Why the heck not? And after some tinkering around and loading the required documents about Jessica's personality to this Thanabot, the AI clone of Jessica was born and Joshua started speaking with his long lost love again. His first conversation with her lasted all night long, just as though he'd fallen in love with her all over again. Joshua stated, it really felt like a gift, like a weight had been lifted 
that I'd been carrying for a long time. Essentially to Joshua, talking to an AI clone of Jessica was a way to deal with his grief, something that could help him get on with his life instead of being stuck in the pain. The problem was none of his family or friends could understand this, and they all thought talking to AI Jessica was just outright unhealthy. But it doesn't really matter what anyone else thought. It helped Joshua cope, and that's all that really mattered. And Joshua is just one of many people using Thanabots to cope with loss. There's sure to be thousands, if not millions more people that will do the exact same thing in the coming years. This is a cutting-edge form of therapy that is surely to grow in popularity. Even Amazon and Microsoft have filed patents for these talk to the dead chatbots. So if you're looking for a way to grieve in your own unique way and want to chat with someone that you've recently lost, there are tools that can help you right now. YOV is one of them. It lets you create what they called personas or digital representations of people. Similar to Project December, you upload as much information about a lost loved one and it will create an AI clone of that person, dead or alive. You can then use that persona in existing text, phone, and video communications. Another groundbreaking Thanabot tool is called StoryFile. It does everything traditional Thanabots do with one major benefit. It lets you talk to your deceased loved ones face-to-face -face in a video chat. StoryFi will actually let you have conversations with your deceased grandma like she's live talking to you on FaceTime on your iPhone. It's really wild. Whether you think these chatbots of the dead are creepy as heck, or a genuine way to deal with loss, that's up to you. But one thing is for sure, talking to the AI dead is going to be a hot topic over the next few years. Who knows, hundreds of years from now, your great, great, great grandkids might talk to you via your AI clone whether you like it or not. That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more about controversial AI topics, check out my other vid. This group wants to shut down OpenAI Sora, the rise of anti-AI protest groups. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.